What's going on guys, just GC Football here. As you can see, it is match stage pressing North and take on Stoke. So we are sitting in ninth, gotta say we're still in the playoff hunt, especially after a game was pushed when against Southampton. So we've got a game in hand, gotta say, but thank you to FC Tottenham as well for accommodating the Preston fans. Get them to Deepdale. So for today's opponents, it's Stoke, they're in a relegation battle, they must do something. Who would have thought you'd see them in a relegation battle? But here we are, very close at the bottom, from 16th downwards to 23rd. It is absolutely crazy, the championship, one of the best leagues in the world. But here Preston take on North, take on Stoke. As Preston North End Ninth has got a chance to close the gap on Hull City to those, those illustrious playoff places. First start of the day. So if I'm saying the Peter de Bocke, the Belgian one. As you can see guys, we're starting the day in the Grey Friars. So the first one on the beer is the Debark, and I must say it's nice. So it's cost £2.63 a pint. I think I'd give that a very solid 7 out of 10. It's a Belgian one and it's certainly up there. That's one of the better ones I've had in the Weatherspoons. So that is at Debock. If you're new around here, don't forget to like and subscribe to Just GC Football. As the next on our list now is the Black Horse. Because they've done pub number one, the Grey Friars. Uh, so I've got Henry Weston Cider. It's definitely down as a lager. It's definitely there. But it tastes European. How does it taste? It's got everything in it, but it's just not fizzy. Yeah, yeah. Ah, that's a fizzy, nice and crisp. Again, I go for a solid 7 out of 10. I was like, I always love cider. So, pub number three, we're on the plug and taps again. There's your options. So on the plug-in taps, it's 6.2%. We're on the schooner, so it's two thirds of a pint. £4.80. So it's from Cheltenham, this one. Nice pay there, but how does it taste? It's very nice, very floral, very crisp. I like it very much. I think that's a solid 7.5 out of 10. I like that because hey, I might even do a full pie of that. But that's two thirds of a schooner. The plug it taps. So here we are, we return to the Guild A Labs. So on the Shepherd Medium here in the Guild A Labs, so 6 percent four pound thirty. I don't think I'm glad it the price is. Not about the price at all. But this is the Guild A Labs. How does it taste? So Shepherd Medium, six percent. So back inside it, I don't mind at all. It's got a nice crisp cider, a little bit on the strong side. Again, I think it's a solid seven point five outside. We're having a good time here, so one the second part of the Sheffield Medium, 6%. Absolutely fantastic. That's more like it, let's do this. Come on, North End. As you can see, this is your starting 11 for Preston North End. So you've got Freddie Woman net. So it's pretty bad, we've got Story, Hughes and Lindsay. You've got your left wing back, you've got Miller and then you've got Brown on the right wing back. Because here you got McCann and Wyman in the midfield, and then of course you've got Mads behind the two strikers of Will Keane and Reese. So I love that lineup, absolutely love it. I'm still confident that we can win today 2 0 North End. I'm still confident that we come out 2 0 winners. Because here with my pal, because here predicting 4 0, but we'll see where we do win 4 0 today. But that is a strong 11 for North End, and I'm confident that we can actually do the job and close the gap on Hull City. Let's go, North End, let's do this. So Preston North End take on Stoke here, it's going to say it's kick off. So 15 minutes in, it's going to say we have a chance for Stoke City on, off the free kick.
to get away with that, no offence, because uh, it's so a little bit better, because I know if I really step it up here. So just for clear two minutes, I don't want to do that. No, no, here. And all I'll tell you about first half, that was a really boring now now. Because it's got really <laughs> live it all. Because I have one of the most boring first halves I've seen. So let's see what Northender made up in the second half here. Because they had much room for improvement. So the second half begins. So really poor from North End, it's so nearly capitalised. Could have been one else like that, let off. Absolutely pathetic, one else though. Stuck here deep down. Typical North End, every time they get close to a player, they just can't do it because they put that pressure on six spot. But it's a classic North End here. 1 0 Stoke. Cross on Madrid with a header there, 1-1 one, one, deep down. Come on, let's see if we can get a winner. We love it, Bill, two goals, pressure in Tana. Come on. So 20 minutes to go deep down here, 1-1. One, one. Can North End find a winner? Try and close the gap on Hull C. So it's up here, so pretty on for Miller, like for like. Fresh legs. So 10 minutes to go do down here, 1-1, one, one. will there be a winner between the two teams? So close, I've got an opportunity for North End to get all three points to deep down, it's going straight at the goalkeeper. A stoke of 1-8-2-1 off the free kick, and that's as simple as that, off the post and in, a winner for Stoke. Massive three points for Stoke here. Well, that is why North End will never ever get the plus because they've got to be beating teams like this. And third great Stoke because they North End not been the best at all. 2 1 Stoke. Six minutes added on it here at Deep Dells because there's six minutes of torture here. So I close to my Melson for the flights of theirs because they're absolute inches away. I thought I was going to get it. I think that just, I think that just about sums up our day here. It's got to say two on Stoke, only 30 seconds go, and that throw going straight into his arms. Absolutely shocking for North End. Abysmal performance here. Official for North End, but massive three points for Stoke in their survival to try and stay in the championship. Absolutely shocking from North End here. Because they're one of the worst points we've done in the season so far. Well, we're finally back home. Because after a very disappointing day at Deepdale, as Preston North End lose two goals to one to Stoke City. 
take nothing away from Stoke. They deserve the three points. Especially when you look at the stats. His pressing North End had four shots and only two shots on target all game. A lot of possession, but we didn't really do much with it. They did a North End. They did what we do to oppositions. Because there's no taking away that from Stoke. Because they're the better team. They had 13 shots and four on target. Because Stoke fully deserve the three points. Because they did a North End on us. And they take, I was going to say, take nothing away from them at all. They fully deserved the three points, especially in the second half. Very close uh, first half, I was going to say, not a lot to really tell you about. But in the second half, I think Stoke step, stepped up a little bit as you showed uh, what they can do. I was going to say, that is the type of resilience Stoke need to stay up. North end. But just one of those teams, every time we get close to top six, because I think every North End fan can relate here, it's because every time we get close to top six, it'll look like we might do it in March or towards the latter end of the season. We we'll just keep doing this, because hey, it's within grasp, but we never ever reach it, and that is classic enough, and that's what's so frustrating about us, that we can never ever make that final step, or that final push, to really, really push on, and show that we're an, abs an absolute force in the championships, because hey, as it looks likely, unless we can get a run together now, because hey, that ends our little unbeaten run, because hey, we've got Plymouth away, because hey, it's a massive game away, especially with Randlow returning to Plymouth, so we've got all to do. But we're not out of the playoff hunt yet, it's gonna say we'll still be optimistic, disappointed, but we'll go again as uh, we'll have a familiar guest as well as uh, Joe Juicy will be returning for that one on <laughs> the longest away trip in England. Gonna say it's an absolute beast, especially if you're from the north of England. Gonna say that is one trip, and I will see you guys in Plymouth. But have a nice day. Gonna say we're not down, but I will see you guys in Plymouth. Have a nice weekend, everyone. But if you're new around here, don't forget to subscribe to Joe Juicy Football. For more football content, more away days, and more PNE content.